Today, I wanna to talk to all of the sisters out there, all of the women, and tell you that you possibly need to take a good look in the mirror and look at yourself. Let's talk about it. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Closer to God Ministries, where we push forward in the kingdom of the Most High Yah. Closer to God Ministries is for those who really wanna learn true submission, true obedience, reverence, and a fear of the Most High Yah. One thing about Closer to God Ministries is I'm not afraid to push the envelope. There's a lot of things that go on in the world that need to be addressed, but religious leaders won't talk about it. Closer to God Ministries, I'm pushing forward. Each man must be convinced in his own mind. I'm gonna give you the disclaimer. This is not for everybody. If you're somebody that has a soft spirit, a sensitive spirit, you don't like that hard truth that can set you free, this is not for you. But if you choose to stay tuned, don't just run off on the plug with my content. Hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, turn your notifications on so you can see when I'm posting new content. And then if you really want to support the channel, check out the doggone link in the description for some exclusive discount codes. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Glory to the most high, y'all. Welcome back to another Righteous Spirit Food episode. Today we back at it, back in the trenches, handling that kingdom business. Man, every woman out there that is an adult needs to take a good look in the mirror and be honest with yourself. I tell men this all the time. You need to get right with the Most High Yah. It's not you need to get right with religion. You need to get right with the Most High Yah. That is the only thing that will save you. Your religion won't save you. But I wanna tell all women to take a good look in the mirror and sit down and tell yourself, you know, what is it that you need to overcome? What is it that you need to be delivered from? Because man, we have these religious women out here who are promoting all of the nonsense. Anything that the Most High Yah hates, these religious women, whether it be Christians, whether it be Catholics, they're promoting it. These religious women, don't matter what the world religion is, they are promoting it. Whether it's all these alternative lifestyles, women we support it. Whether it's, you know, abortions, women support it. Whether it's having children out of wedlock, women support it. Whether it's you don't need a man, women support it. All of this nonsense. And the reason I tell you to take a good look in the mirror is because you may be looking in that mirror every day as you put on all this face paint as Jezebel did, and you may be telling yourself that you are a God-fearing woman. You might be telling yourself that you are a righteous Christian woman. But I recommend every woman, before you read anything about a Proverbs 31 or advance yourself in scriptures, go back and look at Genesis chapter three. Go back and look at that. It's gonna tell you why childbearing is painful. It's because of your actions. You know, Adam was formed first. Eve was formed out of Adam. Eve became the transgressor, which ultimately was the one nagging Adam, telling him, eat the fruit. And because of that, the Most High Yah said, he will put anonymity. That's conflict. That's like an all out war. That's strife between man and woman. And because of that, he also said, the wife's beliefs and, and actions will be contrary to that of her husband. And man will rule over you. That's because naturally, you gonna wanna do what's not righteous. That's how sin got in this world. So I tell you, if you out here, you know, talking about how you feel, all of this nonsense, promoting these doggone wicked antichrist agendas, but yet you go into church clapping, singing these songs, you know, feeling like you in the spirit and all this stuff. Hey, I, today I wanna ask you, is the Ruach HaShadesh really upon you? Are you truly baptized with the spirit of the Father? Or have you been baptized in the spirit of religion? in the spirit of these world religions. But you can't call yourself a God-fearing woman, a woman that's fearful of the Most High Yah and what he will do if you're out here acting like the daughter of Zion, if you're out here acting like Jezebel, if you're out here acting like Delilah. It just don't line up. When you read Genesis chapter three, it's gonna tell you why you don't wanna submit naturally. How are you a, how are you a God fearing woman, but you won't even listen to your husband. You need to sit down somewhere, take a good look at yourself, do some 
deep sea soul diving. That's why I tell men, you need to get right with the Most High Yah. Because if you're not right with the Most High Yah and don't have the spirit of the Father in you, you ain't going to never get nothing right with a woman. And that's the only spirit, which is the Ruach Kashadesh, that can come over a woman and make her submit to a man as fitting to the Lord, as scripture says. But here's the thing, these religious women skim all over the scriptures that point to why we're in this situation. And then you have men that are weak, effeminate, and soft, supporting these same agendas, these same wicked antichrist agendas. Why? A lot of them were raised by mama. Mama was in the church clapping, but she had a religious spirit. She didn't have a Ruach of the Father. She didn't have a Ruach of the Most High Yah. Man, when you are telling your daughters, you don't need no man. Go get you some education. Go get you a bag. Man, that's not, that's not a righteous Ruach upon you. That's a worldly Ruach. That's that feminist spirit. That's that Jezebel spirit. Man, don't sit up and fake the funk and give this lip service talking about you want a real man. And you consider yourself a woman of the Most High Yah, a God-fearing woman. And you just a liar, a flat-footed liar. You pick and choose what in scripture you want to do. If it has to do with a blessing, oh, you all about it. But if it has to do with submission and obedience, you don't want nothing to do with it. See, the reason I tell men to get right with the Most High Yah is so they can have discernment and know when you're blowing smoke up their doggone tailpipe. Know when you're blowing smoke because, man, you can consider yourself a righteous, God-fearing woman, a, a religious woman, whatever you want to say. But if you have done nothing of the basic instructions or the message that the Most High Yah has given you in his word, you ain't going to get into the kingdom. And chances are, you might call yourself a God-fearing righteous woman, but you're promoting and supporting everything scripture says about people who will not get into the kingdom. You're promoting all of these things scripture says in the end times people will become lovers of themselves. All of that nonsense, you supporting it. Yeah, girl, come on. Yeah, girl, you don't need that. Yeah, you don't need no man. That's why all this wickedness is happening to women. You better take a good look at yourself do some deep sea soul diving and ask what you need to be delivered out of. Go back and read Genesis chapter three and see that I'm telling you the truth, the anonymity between man and woman. Why when your husband tell you to do something, you just got a natural desire to want to do the opposite. That's because of that anonymity. That's because your desire shall be contrary. That means opposite, conflicting rebellious, but you call yourself just because you didn't put this doggone hair sacrifice to idols in your head, all this weave, put on all this makeup, put on these nails, all of this nonsense and this eyelashes. And you sit up here talking about, yeah, I'm a, I'm a modest woman. I ain't no Jezebel. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a devout religious woman. I'm a God fearing woman. You might be a, a, a woman of one of these other deities, but you're not a woman of the Most High Yah until you sit yourself down and, and, and doggone repent, as scripture says. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, for the remission of your sin. See, these religious women want to give the image as if they're doing something right, but they don't want to live by it because living by it looks different. Living by it convicts you to change your actions. That's how brothers with discernment, chosen ones, know that the spirit of the Most High Yah is not upon you. You just got one of these religious spirits. You got one of these spirits where you just want to go over wherever they're giving a, a, a ear ticklish message, wherever there's a female pastor patting you on your back, giving that women empowerment. That's going to lead you to doggone hell. It's going to lead you to hell. So take a good look in the mirror. And ask yourself, are you being real? Are you being authentic the way that the Most High Yah commands you? I already told you guys, 90% of believers in this country have a Bible, but only 10% read them on a regular basis. What does that mean? You're hearing a message, but it may not be the word. Scripture says 
the word of God is a seed, but you don't read to confirm what that word is. You walk around thinking you a Proverbs 31 and you a Proverbs 5. You don't even acknowledge the fact in, you know, Adam being deceived by you. But yet you want to promote emasculating men and them not having backbone long as you can control them. But what about the scripture says you will have no authority over man. You don't want nothing to do with that. You don't want to submit to your husband. You want to be in control because you got a little education, got a little money, got a little car. You fly, pop it, got that diva spirit. Man, you better take a good look in the mirror. The best thing you can have in this daytime and era is a covering, is a covering, a righteous one at that. And I tell men all the time, you get right with the most high y'all. If not, these women are going to take you through the ringer and you ain't even going to know how they're doing it because you yourself don't have a relationship with the most high y'all. Closer to God Ministries, kicking it gun barrel straight.